This is the Calgary Royals Hockey Podcast. Brought to you by Rigstar Communications, innovative oil field communication solutions. Video production by the Creative Monkeys. Good evening and welcome to the Father David Bauer Arena for another AJHO Calgary Royals Hockey Podcast. It's November the 2nd and today they're playing the Drumheller Dragons. I'm Joseph McDade and this is Ryan Ballantyne. Now Ryan, uh, how do you th feel uh, that the players are going to do today being that they just got off a long stretch on the road? Well hopefully Joe coming back from a disastrous 1-3 and three road trip the confines of home, the familiar locker room at the Father David Bauer will do the Royals some good. They just did not play well on the road and cannot afford to continue that play here at home. All right, now I also heard that the Calgary Royals have made a new acquisition in players. What's that all about? Actually, since our last podcast, they've added four players, but we're going to focus on the three that are playing for their first game for them tonight. First off, number six, Kyle Lilick. He's in from Grand Prairie, a hard-hitting defenseman, a guy who was playing defense for Grand Prairie. They asked him to move to forward. He refused, and they gave him his outright release. I was speaking earlier with the president of hockey operations for the Royals, and he was thrilled to get the chance to pick this guy up. Secondly, a slick playmaking center coming down from the hitman, Brandon Cozen. Rumor has it he's going to make the offensive coaches in Calgary look fantastic with the things that he can do with the puck. And last but not least, another forward, Blaine Boswell, who's coming over from the Calgary Canucks, the junior a, another junior A squad here in town. Apparently unhappy with his playing time and just the Royals outright purchased his rights and they're thrilled to have him. All right, now the Drumheller Dragons also had a change in their upper management. Want to tell us a little bit about that? Well, another person coming back to the familiar confines of the Father David Bauer is new Dragons GM, Doug Hergenhein. He was announced just a couple days ago. He was the Royals coach for five years in Calgary, and I'm sure he'll have some strategy for playing the Royals today. score of the game was 5-2 for the Calgary Royals. After the game, we got a chance to catch up with Curtis Perlin and Brandon Cozen. We're here with Curtis Perlin of the Calgary Royals. Curtis, uh, a nice breakaway goal in the second period, and then you got Stone on the, in the one in the third. Can you take us through uh, your goal? Well, uh, it was a late change from our, uh, our other line, and we came on there. We got caught a break off our goalie, kicked the puck out, and... Uh, Boswell chipped it up to me there, and I had lots of time to think about what I was going to do. So I just looked, and the goalie was giving me blocker side, and I just went low there and just kind of closed my eyes and shut. So were you guys working? It seemed like you guys were working the stretch pass all game. Was that something you were trying against the Dragons, or did it just seem to happen that way? Uh, it's not something that we put in the game plan right away, but it's something that we try maybe as a line we'll talk about it and maybe try and open up the ice a little bit, maybe get the D-man moving so that we can maybe create some odd man opportunities. So what was your impression of the new guys tonight? Uh, I thought all of them stepped up and played great. You know, I thought uh, I thought our forwards, I thought they stepped up, and I mean we got a couple of, couple of points from a little offense, and now uh, on defense we had some sound defense from our guy back there. And, I mean, to be honest, it's good to see some fresh faces stepping up and doing a good job. So are these guys going to make a difference making it uh, back into playoff contention? Uh, I'm not so sure just yet. I mean, one game's tough to tell, but, you know, you like to see that with changes. You like to see positive uh, outcome from it. So we'll see how it goes in the next couple games. All right. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I'm here with Brandon Cozen. Now, Cozen, you're a new player to the team. Now, what's it like being the new player in the Calgary role so far? Uh, everyone's welcome me with open hands. I mean, it's, it's a great situation. Uh, hoping to come in here and get some points and make an impact. All right. Now, uh, you scored a goal today. Yeah. And uh, what was it? What was it like to get that goal? Your first game with the Calgary Royals, and you score one of their goals in it. What's? Can you walk us through that and what well, it felt like? It was great. I mean, it was exciting scoring a goal, and hopefully, there's more to come. So, 
And then the last question I have now, and, uh, it looked like you were hustling a lot today, getting to the puck sometimes, even before the Dragons did in their own end. Now, was it your intention to come here and try and outskate the rest of the Calgary Royals? <laughs> oh, I, I, no, that wasn't my intention. My, my game is my speed, my quickness. I mean, if I can outwork those guys, get to the puck, and then use my quickness to just work in their zone, get some points, and uh, hopefully contribute. All right. Well, thank you very much. All right. Thank you. And that was Brandon Cozen, a newcomer to the Calgary Royals. Now, what did you think of the, all the newcomers playing today? Well, I think you cannot fault these kids. They came in and they absolutely dominated. Uh, Brandon Cozen was all over the ice. He was the first one into the offensive zone and the first forward back. Uh, the fight by Boswell, he just absolutely destroyed all of it. That was one of the better hockey fights I've seen in a long time. And, and the, other, um, the other newcomer, Kyle Lilac, comes exactly as advertised, a hard-hitting defensive defenseman, a great debut by all three of these players. All right, now, there's a lot of breakaways by Perlin today. Now, what kind of gave him those breakaways? What led up to them in most well, cases? I think it was the Dragons' defense playing a little too shallow, leaving that stretch pass open. Perlin was twice had breakaways, and he wasn't the only player. I believe there were five Royals breakaways on the night, and you just can't allow that as a defense. You need to play a little bit tighter. You cannot let a forward sneak behind you because it's going to end up in the back of your net. All right, now, unfortunately, Olnick let in one goal, but it went right through his pads. Now, it wasn't a really hard shot. Was he just not on that puck enough, or was it just sneaking right by? Sometimes it can be that a goaltender doesn't squeeze the pads hard enough. He got it in the pads, he thought he had it, it trickled through and across the goal line. It's a tough one, but you know what? You'll forgive him in a 5-2 win. All right, now we're gonna go into the highlights for some hits, some shots, and of course, the goals. Number nine takes a shot and scores! Great play, puck goes out in front of the net and the guy, and number nine, Cameron, was right there to pick it up. What? Dragon's end, shoots it out in front, and he scores! Goes around the crossbar and into the net. A short-handed goal on a rush by Shane Lust. By number 15, Cozen, to try and get it from away from him. Shot on net and it's deflected and it goes in! From the point, deflected off a Calgary player stick and into the net. 33 seconds left in the period. Ins versus Tag brings it into the zone, shoots on net, and it sneaks through Olnick's pads and gets into the net. Shoots out in front of the net, goes to 14, 14 shoots, open net, and it's in! Sneaks right by all those skates and just trickles right in. What? Pass out in front. And shot in another score by number 12. Thompson. Bradley Thompson making no mistake when he got that puck in front of the net. And this game has gone from bad to worse for the Drumheller Dragons. Now down three with 5.53 to... Thus ends another Calgary Royals hockey podcast. Next home game is going to be Tuesday, November the 7th, here at the Father David Bauer Arena at 7 o'clock. Thank you for watching, and we invite you to come on down to the arena for that game. If you see it here, you'll probably enjoy it more live. For Rig Star Communications, Creative Monkeys, and the students at the broadcasting program at Mount Royal College, I'm Joseph McDade. This is Ryan Ballantyne. Thank you, and good night. This is the Calgary Royals Hockey Podcast. Brought to you by Rigstar Communications, innovative oil field communication solutions. Video production by The Creative Monkeys. Good night.